Is it just me or is Suzanne truly conquering the entire YouTube fashion space? I feel like I see Suzanne wherever I look at it, and I have no complaints about it. In fact, I'm glad to see one of my favorite brands gaining mass recognition as I feel like it deserves all the praise. That being said, I feel like there is confusion on where to start your Suzanne journey. Which items are the absolute catch and which items should be avoided at all costs? Well, today I intend to bring clarity to the case as I take you on a journey through Suzanne with me. At the end of the video, I'll also add my wish list from the brand as I feel like there's still a lot more to explore. So without further ado, let's dive in. First of all, let me introduce Suzanne to you briefly. Suzanne is a French fashion brand known for its chic and timeless women's clothing, accessories, and footwear. The brand was founded by Morgan Cesalori in 2013 and has quickly gained popularity for its stylish, Parisian-inspired designs. The brand is often associated with a sense of effortless French elegance and is recognized for its high-quality materials and sustainable practices. In other words, it promises everything that any modern fashion girly wishes for. Suzanne primarily operates online and through its own boutiques, creating a direct-to-consumer model that allows it to offer well-crafted products at more affordable prices. In other words, you have access to luxurious quality that is on par with various high-end brands for the price of mid-range brands, which is the dream. In recent years, Suzanne has developed a strong following among fashionistas, particularly the ones who claim to be or wish to be fashion-conscious, including me. One of the reasons why I adore Suzanne is the fact that it has timeless and elegant designs, aka the Parisian chic that I just talked about. The brand's clothing and accessories exude a sense of classic, effortless style that appeals to a wide range of people. I genuinely don't think there are many people who wouldn't like Suzanne's style. Besides, Suzanne is dedicated to using high-quality materials and ethical manufacturing processes, meaning that we are guaranteed to get well-made, durable products. In this day and age where almost all brands, including both high street and luxury ones, compromise their quality by excusing the economy, I feel like this principle of Suzanne is priceless. I mean, instead of paying $300 for a poorly made low quality jacket with unfinished stitching from Zara, I would much prefer paying the money to Suzanne and getting the quality that I deserve. Also, as I mentioned briefly before, Suzanne places a strong emphasis on sustainability. I feel like this should be highlighted a lot more as it is a rare occasion in modern times to see a big brand care for such things. The brand uses eco-friendly materials, works with ethical suppliers, and implements sustainable practices in their production and distribution. I personally could not appreciate their dedication to responsible fashion more. It is also worth mentioning that Suzanne actively engages with its community of customers. The brand often collaborates with influencers and customers, creating a strong sense of community and connection. If you care about the brand history and relatability, I feel like there's a high chance that you enjoy shopping from Suzanne. Okay, I know that I sound like I'm being sponsored by Suzanne, but trust me, they don't know that I exist. I'm simply a fan of the brand and I feel like they deserve the praise more than many other high street brands with little to no care for sustainable fashion and quality materials. Now, on to the pieces that I adore from Suzanne. First of all, I have to praise this trench coat since we are in fall and this is one of my all-time favorite fall items. It is 100% cotton and has a full lining and water repellent material. In other words, it is the perfect outfit for fall. It has multiple colors, but I personally always stick with the caramel option when it comes to trench coats. If you're looking for boots that would go with it, I can recommend this black one. I know that it has a more unique look than your typical matte boots. Personally, since I like to keep the majority of my clothing basic, I like to show off my style through my accessories for the most part. Thus, I like these boots as their flashy leather adds texture and style, elevating the outfit immediately. Also, they have heels, but not too high that will turn your days into nightmares. So you can be stylish in the daytime without worrying about your feet hurting, which is very important to me. Nevertheless, if you're looking for a no heel option, I would highly recommend these loafers. They look basic, but trust me, they are far from it. As someone who has tried various loafers for years, I feel like these are some of the best ones that I've ever used. Their leather is soft, their style is elegant, and they fit your feet perfectly. They go with any outfit and they are highly comfortable. Besides, because of their smart design, they do not wear off easily, so you can wear them for years. Now, what kind of top goes great with a camel trench coat? Well, none other than this blue stripe one. I know that every single brand produces a version of this, but my favorite is this one from Suzanne. I love the details on the shoulder. I feel like it elevates a seemingly basic style. 
It is also a very versatile piece. You can use it over the top of a shirt or as a top alone. It goes with skirts, pants, and shorts. You can even layer them over your summer dresses to make them suitable for the fall weather. It has the perfect thickness level to it. It's not as thick as a sweater, but also not as thin as a blouse. So it is perfect for the transition weather and I could not recommend it enough. If you have a more feminine style, I feel like Suzanne has some of the best options, especially when it comes to shirts. They're deity, elegant, and soft. I have this Lou shirt, which also looks lovely with any outfit. Sometimes I pair it with some black leather pants to balance those feminine vibes. Other times I go all the way in by styling with an A-line skirt. I feel like it's a very versatile one despite looking quite unique, so do not miss out on it. Last but not least, I believe Suzanne has some of the best belt options at a great price. I have a few of them, but my personal favorite is this thin one. I feel like it's python leather elevates any outfit. Even if you're wearing a shirt and a pair of jeans, once you add this belt, you immediately level up. As you can see, I already have a lot of Suzanne pieces in my wardrobe, but I cannot stop wishing for more from the brand. I'm already pretty certain that I'll shop for one or two pieces from Suzanne at the Black Friday discounts. On that note though, I need your guidance. You might have realized that I did not mention any bottom pieces from the brand, simply because I don't have any. So I think of buying one of their satin skirts as they look lovely. It seems like a safer option than buying pants. But if you have any pant suggestions from Suzanne, please let me know. I also want to try this Betty cardigan, though I still cannot decide on which color I want to buy. One of my favorite fashion YouTubers, Daily Helen, praises these cardigans constantly, and I trust her taste. So I can't wait to try them on and let you guys know whether they are worth it or not. Last but not least, I'm thinking about trying on their handbags as a handbag addict myself. Since I try to invest in more mid-range brands like Polen rather than going for high luxury, I feel like it is odd to not look for Suzanne's handbags. I've only heard great things about them so far and thus feel like they're likely to be well worth my money. But what do you think? Do you agree with my opinions about these Suzanne pieces? Do you have any suggestions for me to try on? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.